Tell the feeling like I'm trapped in my damn mind. Tell the feeling like I'm rapping a damn lie. Tell the feeling like my life is a damn game. Nigga really wanna die in the nighttime. Only time I feel pain when I'm feeling love. That's why I said it on my face. What is good, Cardi people, and welcome back to the channel. In light of the news we received yesterday of Juice World passing away tragically, I came across some interesting and almost kind of freaky pieces of information on Twitter, TikTok, his lyrics, and the internet in general. Before we get started, I want to make sure everyone knows I'm not trying to exploit his death. I truthfully find this information crazy and thought all Juice World fans should know in the case of the conspiracy is true. There is astounding evidence that Juice World may have faked his death, thus is still alive live. Aside from that, I do believe we lost the legend yesterday, given that the news would not just blatantly lie to us, along with all the celebrities and his friends that came out publicly grieving over his passing, and it was in a public airport. So apologies if this hurts anybody. Without further ado, let's talk about it. There are four pieces of evidence that make his death seem fake because they are so coincidental. But again, as a superstar who released a massive amount of content, including tweets, pictures, and song lyrics, there are almost infinite lines that can be drawn to what occurred if you try hard enough. The first piece of evidence for this conspiracy is a TikTok trend that started a few months ago using his hit song, Lucid Dreams, in which the sound had a skip in which people acted like they had a seizure. And as we all know, Juice World's cause of death was a seizure. Secondly, if we check out the lyrics of his song, Legends, which was a platinum single and ironically a tribute to Lil Peep X among the many other great artists that we've lost in the 27 Club, I'm sure every Juice World fan knows this lyric and has drawn this connection. But in the chorus, Juice says, we ain't making it past 21, which again was the exact age he passed away. In fact, his birthday was the Monday before his passing last week. Next, if we refer to Juice World's other hit single, All Girls Are The Same, in the lyrics he says, I'm a jealous boy, really feel like John Lennon. The spooky thing about this lyric is that John Lennon passed away on December 8th of 1980, which is the exact same date that we lost Juice World yesterday. And finally, the craziest clue in the conspiracy is his tweet on April 24th of 2017, in which Juice World said, my goal is to get overly famous, shine for a couple years, then fake my death. Juice World blew up when Cole Bennett dropped the All Girls Are The Same music video on February 25th, 2018. Today is December 9th, 2019. It hasn't been two years yet, as he stated in the tweet, but it's been pretty close, especially considering his music started to bubble a few months before his music video with Cole Bennett, which maybe gives a little bit more leeway because he might have considered himself relatively famous before the music video, inching his fame closer to the two year mark that he stated in the tweet. So with all this information, there's pretty crazy evidence of a conspiracy theory that Juice World still may be alive and fake his death but again i believe he has passed unfortunately and i grieve for everyone who has been deeply affected by his death he is one of my favorite artists of all time and is the most influential artist of this generation hands down rest in peace to a young legend peace out cloudy people nonsense